one of the white fronted bee eater exhibit and today we took one of our chicks out of the box to band it before it fledges from the nest. It's still pretty metal. The other ones were a little bit larger. We got a weight on it to make sure uh, it's got at a healthy weight before fledging. And then what we do is we ban the bird so that we have an identification on it because once they do fledge it can be really difficult to get hands on them. Once we did that, we also pulled a small blood feather so that we can send that in for sexing results to know if it's a male or female. So the white-fronted bee eaters, uh, their diet consists solely of insects and the majority of those are honeybees. When they grab the bees out of midair, they simply take it back to the perch and they hit the back end of the bee against the perch, which gets rid of the stinger and the venom sac so that they consume it without any injury to them. The white-fronted bee eaters have one of the most complex society groups of all birds. The chicks from last year actually help their um, relative breeding pairs not only incubate the eggs but also to feed the chicks and once the chicks do leave the nest and fledge they will continue to help feed them. I think white-fronted bee eaters are so cool and so beautiful and unique in so many different ways.